What is up everyone? Welcome back to Whales and Locks. In today's video, we're going to be looking at number four, Illinois, at number two, Michigan. Um, the line in this game is Michigan minus eight, and the over-under is 146 and a half. So this is the only time these two Big Ten teams will match up in the regular season for this top five Big Ten showdown, probably between the two best teams in the Big Ten. Um, on the Illinois side, they sit at 18 and six, 14 and four in the Big Ten, putting them second in this conference, just behind this Michigan squad. Um, Illinois, undermanned in their last two games without Io DeSumnu, was able to get the job done in an easy game against Nebraska. However, their win in Wisconsin really surprised me. Um, I will say Illinois did catch some breaks in that game from Wisconsin, being just ice cold uh, as they shot under 35% from the field and 32% from three. Um, and this does include Demetri Trice's heroics at the end there. Um, Illinois also did turn the ball over in that game 20 times, uh, with basically Io DeSumnu's replacement and Andre Curbelo turning it over six times. Uh, the blueprint was there for Wisconsin. I just think Wisconsin really didn't execute it to win that game. Uh, I don't want to take anything away, though, from Illinois at all. Uh, they did win that game disadvantaged, and it's, it's a great win for them. Um, on the Michigan side, they sit at 18-1, 13-1 in the Big Ten, putting them atop the conference. Um, I no longer have questions or other possible considerations. This is the best team in college basketball, hands down. You really, what can't these guys do? I mean, they score at 78.8 points per game, shoot the three at 39% from three, defend at all five positions and allow just 65.2 points per game, and have allowed under 65 points in six of the last seven. Hunter Dickinson, their star center in the middle in the last two games, has gone up against probably two of the top five centers offensively in college basketball and completely took both of them out of those games. Um, I think my favorite Michigan stat, however, is what they do against the spread. Uh, not only are they 15-4 and four against the spread, but the margins they beat the spread by are what absolutely shocked me. Um, in their last 10 games, they're 8-2 and two against the spread, and this is what they have um, done against the spread in those games. They've beaten it uh, by 17.5, 20.5, 13, 12, 9, 3.5, 17, and 9. I mean, they just annihilate the spread. Um, I think if Io is out, which it seems like he likely will be, I don't see how this game stays close at all. I mean, I think Michigan is just so strong defensively and will lock up these younger Illinois guards and Curbelo and Miller. So I do like Michigan here to cover minus 8 and uh, lock up the Big Ten regular season championship here. So if you did enjoy this content and would like to see more picks in the future, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.